Well, Brody, we've built fires before in science class, had to light things on fire for science experiments that we do. What sort of thing might we normally use if we want to start like a fire? a lighter or a match? Usually we'd use a match, a lighter, right? Something like that that's going to give us a fire to set something else on fire. But we're going to look at an interesting chemical reaction today because in this case we're going to start a fire using no match, but we're going to be using water. And to do that, we're going to be using three different ingredients here. We've got some zinc powder, we've got ammonium nitrate, we've got sodium chloride, and I've got a mortar and pestle here because we're going to use this to grind those up into a really fine powder. So if you can just dump those in there for us and then we'll get them ground up. All right, so now we just want to take our mortar and pestle and we're just going to smash it basically with this piece and mix it around that's going to grind it together so I'll let you work on that just be careful that you don't knock it out all over the counter just kind of press down and roll around with it well Brody you've got our different chemicals ground up here with the mortar and pestle and looks like they're mixed really thoroughly so let's go ahead and dump those into our evaporating dish there that's where we're going to actually burn this out and if you have any extra you can just yeah, kind of scrape it out there make sure we get it off that should be good. And all we're going to do, now you don't want to get a lot of water on it. Don't, don't squeeze it like you're shooting somebody with a water gun, but you just want to put a few little drops of water on that. Don't do it quite yet. I'll tell you when to put it, but you're just going to kind of lean it over, put some water, and let's just see if a reaction takes place here. If we've mixed our ingredients thoroughly, if we've got them ground up really fine, we'll see it hopefully light on fire here when you add the water. Go ahead. Just a few drops on there will be enough. Okay, let that soak in so you can see it's starting to smoke. And there it goes, green fire. And there goes our there goes our evaporating dish. Yep, broke our dish apart, but that's okay. It does get very hot very quickly. And you can see it's still kind of glowing green a little bit in there, and you can see. Yes, yeah, still, it's kind of this like coral-like stuff. And it really is pretty cool, and like you say, it does look a lot like a piece of coral, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And. Again, that's just a really cool chemical reaction. They are starting a fire in an unexpected way using water instead of lighters, matches, things that we would normally use. Well, thanks for helping out with that, Brody. Okay.